Welcome everyone. In this video, I will try to provide a solution for an often overlooked issue. So I have a few things on my desk and I will talk about them soon. But uh, first of all, let me tell you what is the often overlooked problem. So when you work with electronics, uh, very often you have to solder. And I guess many of you don't have uh, fans which are removing the uh, fumes, the actually toxic fumes. So that means that you end up inhaling those toxic fumes and uh, it contains nasty metals, heavy metals that you don't really want to inhale. So there should be some fan or something used to get rid of that uh, nasty fumes. So usually you can buy fans uh, which are specifically made for soldering. But as you can see, I can barely fit it in the frame because it's huge. This is 12 by 12 uh, centimeters. And if you see, if I want to make it uh, somewhere here, let's put a circuit uh, here as a reference, then this is huge. So I have to move this circuit and I have to solder close to this thing because otherwise uh, there would not be any uh, airflow which would direct the uh, smoke in that direction. So this is annoying because my left hand is blocked. That's just one thing, but the light is also slightly blocked and uh, the room of motion or range of motion is very limited. And if I, let's say, put it far away, so it's uh, out of the frame, which is roughly just one span distance, so like 25 centimeters, I don't get enough uh, airflow, so the smoke would rather come in this direction towards my face and of course that's not good because that means that I'm inhaling this uh, nasty smoke. So what my solution is, is that I printed two of this uh, duct, so this fits a 4x4 fan as you can see, and I have already screwed one uh, as you can see, so the four screws are in the fan and it's fixed to the duct. Uh, I used some uh, bolts, nuts and washers. So the air goes in this direction. And then what I will do, I went to the local hardware store and finally found uh, this tube. The funny thing uh, with this tube or hose is that you can extend it, you can bend it however you want. And the diameter of this thing is just 4.5 centimeters. So instead of having that huge chunk of uh, plastic, uh, which is very obnoxious to use, uh, we just use this hose. And the way I uh, will use it is the following. So let me just squeeze this a little bit and just concentrate on this part. So I made some cuts, uh, four to be precise, to have a little bit of freedom because the diameter of this uh, doesn't match uh, the inner diameter of this. So I have these uh, skirts and I will adjust those skirts uh, to put this uh, properly around this uh, duct. Actually you can use some hot glue or uh, this could be a bit uh, longer to have a better grip but uh, we don't worry about that so we can, as you can see, uh, just simply put this together and now we are not aiming for the very very perfect assembly because I just want to share the idea with you and then you can improve it uh, as you would like to have it but now uh, this is uh, let's say inside this thing so what we need is just a zip tie or a piece of uh, wire would also uh, do the job and we just have to zip tie this around the actual uh, tube. So as you can see we achieved a very snug uh, fit so yeah this can go to places it's a very good uh, fit and more or less airtight if I can say so it's not really airtight but it's better than before. So now I have to demonstrate that this works so I will just extend this to just put this uh, smoke somewhere away and uh, the way I will demonstrate this is I have to power this thing 
And now you really see that this takes very small space and due to this semi-rigid uh, construction, I can put it any way uh, as I want. So now we take our favorite uh, soldering tool. Let's give it some power. I just put this here and we need some uh, soldering material. And first I show it without any kind of uh, power so you can hear or you cannot hear the fan because it's not running. So you will see how the smoke flies and of course it's coming towards my face. My face is in this direction. <laughs> so yeah and this is not healthy. So now I remove the solder and I turn on the power supply. So now you can hear the air and then I repeat the same experiment. And you can see that the smoke, at least most of it goes in that direction. So I can solder here and you can see that the majority of the smoke will end up there in in this thing and uh, by further adjusting this uh, let's say putting something like this so a bit over my actual uh, level of the table then that might improve our situation so if I take a hand so let's say like this and uh, you can see this is empty so again, so it uh, collects most of the smoke and that's very nice. So if I like solder here, then it, it collects the smoke nicely. And I can still see, I can still move around and uh, things like that. And the reason why I put this other thing here, because because of this. So I'm not sure if this is generating enough uh, power to get rid of all of the smoke. So my impression is if I put the fan on the other side of this uh, hose, I can improve this uh, sucking property. Because now the hose is quite long, so that means some extra work for the fan to just push the air through this. And uh, yeah, we know that these are very tiny fans. And also I can put this uh, thing to the throat of the big uh, fan that I showed you. And then from there it can uh, help to suck more uh, smoke. And for that uh, I will have a bigger smoke source just to show you what I want to uh, make. So we have this stick and this is a very good uh, source for smoke so let's wait a little bit and at least it smells nice as well so now we have a lot of smoke as you can see i should have done the experiment with this so now i just turn on this and if i solder here like this you can see that the smoke goes there. Majority of the smoke. But then, if I turn this off, just to show you. So now the smoke spreads everywhere. So what I could do now is I could adjust this. And now I turned on the big fan and you can see that some of the smoke which is quite close that goes in because there is like a very very tiny uh, pressure difference but now I turn on the, the power supply for this fan and now as the fan in the corner helps then you see that uh, so much so so the big majority of the smoke ends up in this uh, in this tube.
So as you can see, if I if I hold this as it would be a soldering iron, and I solder something here, like like this circuit, I I still have space, and most of the smoke ends up in the uh, tube instead of my lungs. So this is very good, and this is very cheap. So, I think the total cost of this is less than ten dollars, and that worth that worth more than uh, having lung cancer, I guess. So you just need two of these uh, motors, and uh, you have to print this plastic thingy, and you need to buy some similar things. And wherever you can buy car parts, you can buy this flexible uh, thing. It's a uh, aluminium. Uh, tube. So you can see that this is a very simple construction, but it can uh, help to uh, avoid inhaling this uh, smoke. And I think that's a very important thing because a lot of people don't care about this and they just solder and uh, inhale the smoke or they like blow it away or, or something like that, but they don't really care. And uh, maybe on the long term that uh, can damage their health. So what I wanted here is just to have a very short uh, discussion about this thing that uh, you can build this uh, for a very cheap price and it's a very uh, small effort but it can help you a lot. So I hope you like this video. I will make more tricks and tips uh, if I come up with something like this because I think this might be useful and sometimes people just uh, don't think about these things. But uh, yeah, it, it's just good to have some small tools which are uh, beneficial to use. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, you can visit my website, curiousscientist.tech. I will upload the 3D files for these ducts for 4x4 uh, centimeter fence. And see you in the next video.